Deaths from accidents were relatively low during this festive season. This was due to a number of factors, and one such is ability by health institutions to attend to injured and avert death. Now, those accidents have taken a huge toll on the national blood banks across Zimbabwe, with the bank reserves running extremely low on blood stocks. National Blood Services Chief Executive Officer Lucy Maroa speaks on the situation and their target. As National Blood Service Zimbabwe, we would like to take this opportunity to thank the nation for responding to our call uh, to prepare for the festive season by coming in their numbers to come and donate blood. We were able to stock enough blood to cover us through the Christmas period right up to the new year. We really wish to thank the nation for their generosity and also for heeding this call to come and save lives through the precious gift of blood donation. I would like to advise the nation that at the moment we are running critically low of blood group O. We are well stocked in terms of the other blood groups which are group A, group B and blood group AB. Unfortunately, when it comes to blood group O, we are critical at the moment, in particular Harare branch, where we are sitting on less than a day's stock. This means that we are unable to meet the requirements of our client hospitals that are serviced from the Harare branch. When it comes to other hospitals that are serviced from the rest of the regions, that is Bulawayo, Mashingo, Mutare and Gweru, we have between one and a half to two days uh, supply of blood group O. But this means it can run out at any given time. Therefore, I do call upon the nation to come again in their numbers, especially if they know that they are blood group O. The number of hospitalized cholera cases has risen to 258 in the last 24 hours. This comes at a time when five suspected deaths were recorded while there are 167 new suspected cases. Under the suspected cases, Chiredzi with 30, Kuadzana with 23, Glenview 17 and Chipinge at 17 have some of the highest cases. Harare remains the epicenter of the outbreak at a time when 258 suspected deaths has so far been recorded across the country while 67 were confirmed. Currently the recovery rate stands at 96%. With the coming of rainy season, experts have warned the situation could get out of hand. But perhaps the biggest question will be how are neighboring countries handling their situation if there is any at all. Now in 2023, Malawi experienced its largest cholera outbreak in the past 20 years with 59,075 cases and 1,769 deaths as of October 2023. The outbreak affected all 29 health districts in the country. The outbreak started in March 2022 in Machinga district and was declared a public health emergency by the state president in December 2022. The outbreak was worsened by the rainy season which increased the transmission of the waterborne disease. This is however against the background that the presidential task force on coronavirus and cholera announced that cholera is no longer a public health emergency as of August 2023. The Veterinary Services Department has warned farmers to dip their livestock or risk prosecution. Zimbabwe has been receiving incessant rains in the last few weeks, raising fear of tick-borne diseases such as January disease. Zimbabwe has lost over half a million cattle to January disease in the last eight years. Farmers should bring all their animals for dipping to avoid unnecessary preventable cattle deaths. By operation of the law, anyone who does not dip their cattle or whose cattle are tick infested can be prosecuted. Now, Liverpool forward Mohamed Salah says he would love to help Egypt end a more than a decade-long wait for a record eighth AFCON title ahead of the finals, which start next week in Ivory Coast. Salah, who has won just about every major trophy at club level with Liverpool, is yet to win an AFCON with the Pharaohs, who won their last one in 2010. The Egypt captain has been impressive form from uh, Liverpool this season, scoring 14 goals, most recently a brace against Newcastle on Monday. He is hoping to take the form to AFCON where he was part of the Pharaohs squad which finished runners-up in 2017 and 2021. Egypt are in a tricky Group B long with Ghana, Cape Verde and Mozambique.